Okay. Okay, so say you were walking down the street and someone tried to came up to you and tried to hug you. Would you how many of you would want to have maybe a gun on hand, maybe defend yourself? Okay. I'm gonna start by saying guns are right. First argument is straight from the Second Amendment. Okay. Um, the Second Amendment states that we have the right to bear arms and that right shall not be infringed. It was based off of, it was supposed to be anything that the government had so far as guns go, you could have it too. Obviously that's not so accurate anymore because the government has nukes and things. You're not really supposed to have that kind of stuff. But for guns, it should still be what stay true to that, you know, the Second Amendment and the picture just says gun control should mean a balanced stance that's blue trigger pull. It should not mean anything else. Guns should be our right, unrestricted. And then the next one is guns equal crime control, not the other way around. Okay, there was a 1982 survey. Um, they went to the state prisons and surveyed inmates said that 34% of people in jail, in the prisons, had been scared off, shot at, wounded, or captured by an armed victim. So somebody with a gun fought back, and that is why they're in jail. 40% had decided not to commit a crime, been dissuaded from committing the crime because they had a gun. Obviously, if somebody has a gun, you're going to want to not mess with them. And then 69% of them knew somebody that had been stopped by a person using a gun. Also, in 1993 nationwide survey of about 5,000 people stated that at least 0.5% of the households had members that have used a gun to stop a crime. And if that was applied to the entire nation, then um, there would have been 162,000 incidents of the same nature every year. <coughs> um, one of the main arguments is that criminals can get guns easily, and that's what they base gun control laws off of, trying to keep guns out of the hands of criminals. But if anybody here has tried to get a gun, it's not as easy as it sounds. If you have any sort of mark on your record, you will not get a gun. There is no way possible for you to get a gun. And at gun shows, they some of the people sell guns at gun shows, they're not required to do some of the things that gun shops are. They have, gun shops have more paperwork and things. But people at gun shows aren't necessarily required to do that, so you can get away with a little bit more. That's another argument. But if you are to say at a gun show that I might not be able to pass um, one of the written documents that you have to sign maybe a uh, gun shop, you may are not legally allowed to do that. Okay. Um, some of you might recognize this. This is a real company called my team. There's a lot of chaos from people with guns. There's an easy way this could have been
that would be staff and students of this institution and then this arm for your convenience. Which is basically what one of these arms are. They try to they try to keep guns out to keep it safer. It is proved to be the opposite as the 